fellow book nerds, my name is Victoria, and as you might or might not know, I am the video host at Team Underlined. I'm here with the beautiful, talented, and ridiculously smart author of American Royals, Catherine Mickey. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, I'm Victoria. so excited to have you here. So Catherine's book answers a big what if question many of you might have asked yourselves after Meghan Markle married Prince Harry. What if the United States had its own royal family. In this book, George Washington was crowned king after the American Revolution. Can you imagine? Well, as the story goes, centuries later, the royal family, like any other family, is dealing with a lot of drama. Maybe even a love triangle? That's as much as I'll say about the book for now. Because Catherine is such a pro when it comes to royal family trivia, I thought it could be fun to test her a bit and play a game Team Underline likes to call Can Victoria Stump This Author? I'm going to ask Catherine some hard-hitting questions about the British royals, and she's going to let us know, and we're going to let you know if it's right or wrong. Feel free to play along with us and let us know how many questions you get right. Are you ready, Catherine? I think I'm ready. <laughs> also, here we go. Name all three of Kate Middleton's children from oldest to youngest. George, Charlotte, and Louis. Woo! Yes! Okay, next one. Who designed Meghan Markle's wedding dress? It's a tough oh, one. Oh, oh, it's, um, I actually can't remember, but I remember it's a female designer. It's French, it's definitely a French designer, but a British woman. British who woman. works for the French designer. Yeah. That's all I've got. Sorry, guys. I mean, that's close <laughs> enough. I think she deserves a point for that. Okay, next question. Which soap manufacturer changed their campaign after Meghan Markle spoke out about its sexist dish soap commercial? Oh, this is when she was a kid and she yep. wrote in the letter. Um, it, uh, it's a dish soap. Uh, Palmolive? No. Starts with a P. Um, pledge? No, that's Another a different piece. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, these are hard. You promised me these would be easy. You lied to me. <laughs> it's a word and a word. Oh, Procter and Gamble. Yes, oh. you got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is tough. What is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's baby boy's full name? Archie, not Archibald, which I. I think is charming and a little bit funny. Yeah. Um, and it kind of reminds you of Riverdale, Harrison, right? Harrison, Mountbatten, Windsor. Can someone check that? Because I don't actually know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what? the wedding dress designer. It's Claire Wallace. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Did we get that? She got it. <laughs> last one, last one. Name the actress. I feel like you'll definitely know this one. Name the actress who played Queen Elizabeth II in seasons one and two of The Crown. Oh, Claire Foy. I love her. Yes. She was we so good. We love you, Claire. All right, so good game. <laughs> I'm impressed. Thank you for playing with me, Catherine. Now, I'd like to ask you a few more rapid fire questions, specifically oh, about your brand new book, American Royals. If your book was turned into a movie, who do you think you would cast as Beatrice? Oh, I don't know. The royals are really hard to cast. Mm. I'm not sure I would dare to cast royalty. Yeah. But um, the one character who's really clear in my mind is I could totally see Madeline Pesh, who's Cheryl from Riverdale, as Daphne. I really, I feel like I can just visualize her embodying the sassiness and sort of the cold-hearted manipulation of Daphne, but also her surprisingly vulnerable soft side. Yes. All right, guys, you heard it. Movie, <laughs> let's go. Uh, so number two. If you could have brunch with any of the American royals, who would you invite? I think I would invite the king. Yeah. Because I really want to, I want to learn some of his wisdom. Oh, are you a Ravenclaw? I feel like that's a very Ravenclaw I'm such answer. a Ravenclaw. Ah! I'm the most Ravenclaw. <laughs> I like broke the Ravenclaw scale. Wow. I one time was in the library so late at night in college that all of the, like the library closed without me realizing oh, it and I had to um, sneak out and set off a fire alarm. <laughs> That's how Raven Clyde. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm very curious to see what you would say to this. If you could be the heir or the spare, which would you pick and why? 
So this is a classic oldest child answer because I think I would rather be the spare yeah. because the grass is always greener on the other side. For sure. I, I am the oldest and I feel like I am more similar to Beatrice. I'm more, I, I am a little more responsible. I try to make everybody happy, but it would seems like it would be really nice to have all of the perks of being a royal with not as much responsibility. Right. I'm not sure if my older sister, my younger sister would answer the same way. As an older sister, I think you gave a great answer. I totally, <laughs> as someone with a type A personality that stresses too much, I think, right. I think I would choose the same thing. Great answers. Catherine, thank you again for spending the day with us. Thanks fellow, for having me. Yes, of course. Uh, fellow book nerds, that's it for now. Don't forget to pick up a copy of American Royals if you haven't already. And as always, make sure to sign up to Team Underline's newsletter to keep up with our fun YA videos, quizzes, and online content. Bye!